show you what I did here where we hang our uh, store fishing poles. This is our rod and reel holders. We got one up there. And I got two here above my my military photos. And then I got three here above our pictures. So all these are is uh, two inch couplings here on this end that I screwed to the wall and then ordered these little rod and reel holders online. They were really cheap, like $10 for a whole bag of them. So I used them for the end down here. So these are really good. They won't, they won't catch on nothing or scar nothing up. So these are our rod and reel holders. I got these here on the side above our pictures. Those down here above my military pictures. The one that's over there on the wall, on the beam there. And then uh, over here on this side, I'm putting these up. These are the two Shakespeare. These are the first couple rod and reels we've had a few years back. Then we had some years before that that lasted quite a few years. And they were also the same kind of Shakespeare, like $40 rod and reels. And we caught all kinds of fish with them. And here's one of my smaller rod and reels just for uh, fresh water. And then I got this little small one here for fresh water. And sometimes I'll use these for a sabiki rig, put a sabiki rig on it when we're saltwater fishing to catch bait fish. These smaller rod and reels are really good for that. All right, so I got two more rod and reels to bring in. Put one end in and then the, the other end up here into the little piece. Alright, so now I have a new rod and reel. So I need to figure out where I'm going to put it when that's the other one. So I might just take one of these small ones down. I think I'll put it over here. Alright, I'm going to take this little one down and put this one up there. It's really good right there. That's when that's newest rod and reel I bought for her. Shakespeare combination with the, the rods of Shakespeare ugly stick. So I'll tell you what I did here. I had on um, a couple years back my boss had bought a bunch of um, plastic shims from Lowe's. We normally use wood shims doing cabinet work. He bought a bunch of plastic shims and then uh, we didn't like them. They weren't working good like we were no normally used to. So he threw them in the garbage. So when he left that day I took them out of the garbage because there was nothing wrong with them. They were all brand new in the package. We only had open one package. So I took them back to Lowe's and exchanged them for a um, uh, um, debit card with the, that price on them since I didn't have a receipt. So they gave me the store card with that money on it. So I bought a bunch of these, these two inch couplings and some black paint. And the money from those shims covered all of that. So I actually didn't pay anything 
the only thing I actually bought was these about 10 bucks for these little rod and reel holders. So I painted those two inch couplings and then screwed them to the wall where I needed them and then uh, screwed them little pieces up there. And it works really good for rod and reel holders. And this is our fishing wall. So I just recently added that map on there. We bought that in Treasure Island. And then these are magazine covers that I made years ago. So that's a redfish that me and my buddy Steve caught. A redfish that Wynette caught. And this is our daughter Robin. We were at uh, Fort DeSoto catching Spanish mackerels. This was a Flagler Fishing Pier in Flagler Beach, over on the east side of Florida. Robin caught a whiting and she caught a cobia that day. So this is some more stuff I put up here. These are our CCA measuring tapes from all the different, the last four years we've been fishing for CCA. At their tournament. So this is my real big fish um, certificate that I just got. So I went ahead and put them up there. That was the, the redfish that I caught that I got that for. And that's redfish that we've got mounted out in the living room. And these are our bonnethead sharks we just recently caught this year. We took the um, the shore base fishing, the shore base sharks fishing course online, and we took it again this year and renewed it so that we could keep sharks. We we don't go out with fishing rigs just to try to catch sharks, but sometimes you can catch sharks fishing where we fish, and uh, like these were legal to keep. So with having that. With having that course on our license, we were able to keep these. But the course teaches you a lot about the sharks and which ones you can keep, which ones you can't, how to identify them. So that's our fishing wall and our rod and reel holders.